Citizens of ancient Rome, welcome to the amazing future of Caesar 3 in 2024. That's right, a game from 1998 has been rebuilt and remastered and then just sort of modded to a whole new level with Julius and particularly Augustus. Oh, also, today's video is sponsored by Gilded Destiny, which you should totally check out, but I'll talk more about that later. Now, Augustus is a re-implementation of the Caesar engine in open source so people can do whatever they want with it and Augustus 4.0 has released plus Commissar Marek has created a revamped campaign called Reconquered. So I want you to click the link below to find Augustus and then I want you to click the next link to check Commissar Marek's video for their overview of the new remade campaign with Augustus in mind. So. After you watch this video, go watch Commissar Marek's video as well. And that explains everything you need to know about the new campaign. But Augustus 4.0 changes a lot from 3.0. So we could go over some of these things. Also, if you want to install Augustus, I got a video guiding you on how to do that as well. But I think the best way to experience this is to begin a new playthrough in Augustus 4.0 and the new campaign. If you want to see Secrets of Caesar 3, by the way, before we get started, I did have an interview with Simon Bradbury, the creator of Caesar. I'll link to that down below as well, an exclusive interview. Yeah, if you want to talk about Caesar 3, Augustus or Julius or anything like that, join our Discord. Now, let's go ahead and get into the new campaign. Rome is a kingdom which has been at war with its Etruscan neighbors almost constantly throughout its history. In order to increase its influence and profits, and to be able to assert its local dominance, Rome will need better access to trade. As the only access to profitable sea routes is the Tiber River, Rome has decided to establish her first true colony along its banks. This new site shall be called Ostia, and it is to be located close to the shore of the Tyrrhenian Sea. The task at hand is simple. Build a rudimentary housing block and begin extracting local clay and timber for export. Once this has been achieved, feed your people and complete the goals set for the mission. As you progress, more buildings will steadily become available. This campaign is made for veteran players who have beaten the regular campaign. Knowledge of custom maps will be useful but is not necessary. Hopefully the campaign will be for everyone who wants a better experience playing with the Augustus mod. Overall, expect things to be harder but not brutally unfair. You have been granted the rank of engineer which you shall keep for the remainder of the campaign. For balance reasons, this rank shall not increase in order for favor to remain a threat throughout the campaign. Additionally, private funds do not carry over to subsequent missions. Take a good look at the map and do not take anything that you know from the original campaign for granted. Good luck, Governor. Wow, look at that. Additional information. Okay, credits. There we go. Commissar Marek, thank you for making this campaign. Rome encourages immigration. These new events are part of Augustus. So we got these new briefings and these new events. New objective, achieve 200 population. So we've got these now mini objectives as we go through the campaign. <laughs> okay, achieve 200 population. We can do that. Look at this. This is the first, first map, first mission, but it's different. Look at it, it's different. It's changed. It's not the same. It's not the same. I guess we reuse... Like, I don't know what's what's gonna be on the way, right? We're doing this all new. With Augustus settings and everything. So, uh, sure. Wait, do we have roadblocks? We do have roadblocks. Yes. So, I think everything's unlocked 
from the start here. Can we get a doctor as well? Yeah, let's get that going. Let's get the small temples. So auto cycle on, I guess. So this is a new way of cycling through. So auto cycle on will allow us to just auto cycle like this. Uh, this w should handle desirability for these houses. Oh, we do need water, of course. We just got wells right now. Uh, so I guess I just do this. Look at these new water previews. Very nice. A uh, little awkward, but sure. There we go. <laughs> uh, do we have access to all the advisors and everything? Yes, we need 10 culture, 40 favor. The idea of not raising your rank so favor is a threat through the whole game, that's actually very clever. It becomes sort of a, you know, non-issue in the original game. But this time... Oh, we have a trade route. So, I'm... There's fishing spots as well. Wait, this is this is a whole new campaign. So this is like playing Caesar 3 for the first time. There's farmland! Wait, what are we doing on this map? Okay, well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> We've got a lot of new things here. Now, before we continue with this remade Caesar 3 campaign, I wanted to share a game that I listed in my upcoming games lists without being sponsored, but this mention is sponsored. Gilded Destiny, which is an upcoming grand strategy game set during the Industrial Revolution, and if you look at this footage on screen, I have a feeling that you're going to like it. It's in development, but there's a lot to see already, so check it out, wishlist it on Steam, and follow the Kickstarter page to keep up Dated because they're making some cool stuff that you might want to support. Links below. Personally, I love the look of it and it mixes big global strategy, economic simulation and even city building. This is one of the more promising ones on the way. So help them out and keep an eye on it. Okay, back to this other historical game, Caesar 3. This is very exciting because I've played through the original campaign, what, three times now? And now this is just new. It's just different. Am I forgetting anything? Cart depots are available. I've not played with cart depots. I've not played- Establishing trade! Look at that. With the colony's foundations established, unlocked warehouses and raw resource product production. Have 10 raw resource production buildings and 2,000 denarii. Okay, so I am playing with global employment on, by the way. So let's get, um... Let's... Wait, what are our raw resources? Clay pit, timber yard? Okay, so I can, I can have this reasonably organized. We'll just have a road up this way. Uh, firehouse, engineer's post. We want to have five of each, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, and then a warehouse here. And this is accepting Timber. And Wilkinson, thank you so much. Uh, then we need to get clay going, which I guess we can extend the road out this way. Are we going to be building a dock? I don't I don't know if we're going to be building a dock, but let's go raw material, clay pits. What's the range of this water here? We can actually go one, two, three, four, five road out, firehouse engineer's post, roadblock for safety, and I'll have another warehouse right here for... Actually, this should be timber. This should be clay with the way I've set it up. Can we get the timber over that side? There we go. Just bring it on over. Thank you. Can I empty this warehouse? Change this to accepting. There we go. Stop emptying the warehouse. Ah. Oh. Look at this. Mission one. Mission one. Ah. <laughs> oh. Looking at the map, you seriously hope you won't have to build a dock. Yeah. So, wait. Uh, current mini goal. So, does it show here? Establishing. Yes. Oh, it plays the sound when I open it. Okay, so I just have to have 10 raw resource production buildings and 2,000 denarii, which means we have to start trading. So let's go trade on this 
Ostia, the first, the first mission in this campaign. So land trade route, they buy clay and timber. Let's open that. We don't have to go to the trade advisor. We can just start exporting from here. Perfect. There is a water trade route. Uh, does a dock only fit there? I might have to redesign this a little bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll adjust, we'll adjust. Let's do the current objective. So I don't think we have to do anything particular. Uh, we do have quite high unemployment. We can have it on the other shore as well. Oh, that side. Yes. Okay. Also, while we're getting through this, you can see in Augustus, if you haven't seen Augustus, look at these options. We have all of these options. User interface options as well. All of this. Yep. Draw cloud shadows. This map is very small, so kind of hard. We've got all of these options for difficulty and city management as well. Many of these affect difficulty as well, actually, but non-military gates default to allowing all walkers. This is, um, actually, yeah, I want that on. That's a new option. Okay, good. I don't know if we'll see any, oh, there, there, cloud shadow. Look at that. Look at this cloud shadow. <laughs> it's a cloud shadow in season three. Look at this. It's a, it's a cloud that's that's going over our city. Isn't that amazing? Ah, oh. it used to be the days where Augustus came along and we're like, oh, we got roadblocks. Oh, we can zoom in and out. And now look at it. Look at what we can do now. So we're just trying to save up two thousand denarii. Oh, a cloud shadow. That. <laughs> uh, you can oh right you can now see the exact trade quota before you open it that's true look this closed trade route it shows how much they will buy ah oh, just nice quality of life improvements there we're selling a lot how many caravans are showing up at a time you three caravans at a time and they buy so much so this is a whole new campaign. So this does feel like a tutorial, but this is like Caesar 3 New Game Plus, right? Once you beat the original campaign, like preferably in Julius, then you get Augustus and Commissar Marek's new campaign, Reconquered, and it's like New Game Plus, right? Caesar 3 now has New Game Plus. It's actually amazing. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I can... I can build a ship bridge. I don't think I can build a dock. So it's fine. Yeah. We've almost got 2,000. Just have to make a bit more money. Just a bit more. There we go. 2,000. So Augustus can now check for that? Yeah, it can check for that. We have mini objectives and side we could have side quests in augustus huh farming and food now that the city's coffers have filled with denarii it's time to feed our people and give them proper water access so caesar 3 now has a proper tutorial so in the original caesar game these pop-ups sort of happen on the first mission or two but it mainly covers like oh you know prefectures or temples Architects posts, that sort of thing. But now it covers, you know, proper things like this. Farms, granaries, markets, reservoirs. New objective have six active farms and eight wheat stockpiled, as well as an active market. Okay, we can do that. We've got all this farmland. So I'll clear off six farms, they said. I can use this area here. I can have... How do I want to do this? We can have a granary there. I'll have engineers... No, wait. Up there. I have firehouse, engineers post. I can have... I need six farms. It tells you exactly what to build. So there's one farm. Uh, two, three... This is a little weird. I need to move this over 
to make room for this. Sure. I'm gonna have this road do this, this road do this. I can roadblock there, and then I can engineer's post and my house. This granary is for markets only, accepting wheat. Let's get those going. We're short on people, but we should get more people by... Let's just build more houses. Let's just do that. We'll bring more people in. Because I need to clear some space there for a market. Actually, is there? Okay, no. So we needed to stockpile. Good place to burn down from plague. I do. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. That actually... Uh... Oh, Barber is also good for early health, right. A demand for four clay. On mission one. Services and expansions. Docks, schools, theaters. New objective, achieve mission rating. Okay, good houses to burn down. So Barbers are now basically required. Let's, let's give everyone a haircut. Uh, let's set our trade limit. Export over four. Let's do the same for timber, just in case there's a request for that as well. Let's go ahead and get market. Oh, is this... Oh, this is market range. Because the map is small, it covers the whole thing. Market. Look at that. This building has no likelihood of catching fire. This building has negligible risk of collapse, but it can. Let's just trade wheat for now. So... So like engineer's posts can't catch fire and can't collapse. But prefectures can. I wonder what the design decision behind that is. Also, what are our goals? Population of a thousand. We also need some favor. So we are collecting... So we're at engineers, right? So I can actually just drop my salary, I guess. But submitting the, the clay should get us the, the favor we need. Wait, that market... This place the market lady was orange! Many. I'm off to collect more supplies. The getting market ladies are now a different color. Nice touch, nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh oh some people in chat are you are you giving tips and stuff yeah back seating is less of a threat on my channel because i'm so enthralled with the game i'm playing that i actually just miss chat <laughs> sorry about that but look at this game okay so we're going for a thousand people well we're, we're evolving houses now let's just clear off those um so we needed Population milestone, very good. Let's get schools down. What else did we get? Theater. Let's get a theater down. Uh, no actor colony. Interesting that... That you, like, you are tutorializing that the theater works without an actor colony. Fountain. Oh, we, we got Imperial Dispatch ready. Perfect. Dispatch. So I can get this reservoir down. Let's get fountains down. So let's go bam, bam. Does that actually cover everything? Yes. We can now get rid of the wells. Do we have decorations? We do. Let's go gardens. Formal gardens, overgrown gardens. What? Formal gardens. Overgrown got Overgrown gardens? Oh, whole new gardens. Okay. 
Do I have, uh, I have plazas? Of course we've got... Oh, I just went straight into debt for that. <laughs> we've got new plaza designs as well. Oh, did I miss... Emperor's Gratitude. Perfect. Uh, let's do that. Ah, do we have... We don't have tax collectors. Statues. Oh, we got all these statues. Yeah, those are good. Yes. What else? I feel like there's more trees. Oh, we can auto-cycle the trees. Wait, so does that mean... Oh, yes, we can do this now. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. Yes, thank you very much. That's very good. Uh, parks. We've got all of this stuff as well. Yes, very good. Very nice. Paneled garden wall. That sounds new. Hmm. A thousand population. Look at this wall. Ooh, very good. I don't play with auto merge housing. No, I like the variety. Uh, what are we actually trying to get? 20 prosperity? Right. The fact that the Emperor recently had to bail you out of trouble hits hard at your city's reputation as a prosperous one. Is that... Is this new? Is this new? <laughs> I don't remember this. Is this... I, I'm starting to forget what is new and what's old? <laughs> That's not new? Is this tooltip new? Okay, prosperity is going back up. Okay, culture's fine, population's fine, favor's fine, we have massive unemployment, that's okay. Um, peace needs another year, so we just need to wait for prosperity to go up. If I check... Max prosperity is 34, yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, I don't know if we're getting enough um, food in. I feel like yes. Yeah, every everything's running well. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. Um, okay, is there anything else I can find that's new? Like cart depots, I've not I've not worked with them before. Cart depots. So this. This feels like it works kind of like how it works in Nebuchadnezzar, right? Where you have a central building and then you set that it's delivering a resource always from one building to another, right? That's how that works. So like... Oh, when source has more than or destination has less than. Or you could set it to never to stop it. Right, okay. Tooltips are from 3.2, okay. Yeah, so if you last played the last stable build, which is 3, a lot of this is new. If you're playing the unstable builds, it's been trickling in over the last year, I think. So, yeah. But going from the last unstable build to this version 4.0, um... It feels quite good, like, because a lot of it feels new. I think I've got too many people, because unemployment's a problem. It's just... We don't need that either. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just deal with the unemployment problem. Wait, how many... Four employees. Was that five before? Or was it always four? Why do I have so... M we need a thousand people. Did I build too efficiently? <laughs> that is a problem. What's what's the most employment... I guess I could... Make sure the gods aren't upset. Uh, I need to destroy a tree. Venus. Is this first mission with food? It's it's new game plus. Like it's a whole thing. Um so uh, 
We just have to wait for our prosperity to recover. Because we went into debt. Accidentally, by the way. It it hit our prosperity. So let's speed on through. Um, a price rise of that. Okay, I can just send the request from here. Very good. Um, favor is where it needs to be. Yeah, I could use a C trade, but... I think I'm making enough money. Aren't hospitals good for getting rid of unemployment? Yes, but this is mission one. There's no hospitals. <laughs> Prosperity is going up eight per year. It's okay. Augustus allows us to go to 500% speed. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about that. That's my bad. My bad. This was Temple to Venus. Okay. 500% speed! <laughs> okay, I think, I think we have... Like, if I didn't go into debt, we would have won already. That's my bad. I was getting too excited building all kinds of random stuff. But I can send from granaries as well. There we go. Fantastic. Nice of you to throw in all of these requests. To make sure our favor does raise fast enough. Okay, we're at 12 prosperity. It's okay. 20 prosperity from first mission is pretty hard. No, only... Only because I messed up. Oh, these... These buttons are so handy. Look at that. I can just stockpile, send, stop stockpiling. It's so... It's so good. Oh. Okay, one more year. One more year and we'll win. Because I'm pretty sure we started with... Our prosperity was fine. Oh, okay, thank you, Mercury. Oh, can you believe this is mission one? <laughs> yes, we can send that. Look at all these requests on mission one. And we should be winning any moment now. Victory! Accept promotion! Congratulations! Once again you have proven yourself to be one of Rome's finest governors. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play Mission 2, because I want to see how that looks, and let's move on. In the year 244 BC, the Romans have conquered the city that will be henceforth known as Brundisium. Previously, the population was predominantly of Greek origin and culture, so the period after this conquest will continue to see violent conflict between the different ethnic groups. However, Roman armies are still in the area, so you do not need to devote any attention to military matters. Your task is to take charge of the local area and establish a small, profitable colony. Okay. Additional information, Rome has entered its Republic stage. I like the extra info here. Uh, persistent events. Grand Temple to Mercury unlocks Plaza. Subsidies lasting until 10 prosperity rating give 100 denarii per month. Workshops only unlock after the subsidy expires. Wow, okay. So we can't build plazas unless we get a Grand Temple to Mercury? And we get 100 denarii per month until we get to 10 prosperity. Okay. Huh. Senate subsidizes colonization. Achieve 10 prosperity to unlock workshops. Okay, we've got... Whoa, we start with a building. I gotta pause, otherwise that's gonna burn down. Look at this. So the map's been redesigned. Oh, I see you throwing rocks down to make... <laughs> to make farming harder. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, this is... We've got a warehouse with nine clay in it. Warehouses don't burn down? Since when? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Processing the new map. So... Wheat and vegetables available. So we are still generally implied to be needing to use this. We don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's also make sure we roadblock that and control this a little bit. Let's make sure we clear this. So, Grand Temple... I don't know if Grand Temple is actually... Like, maybe it's unlocked later. These missions are so hard to predict now because things unlock. All right, let's clear the trees in the farmland. There's extra farmland back there. And back here. Oh, I see you hiding the farmland. <laughs> okay. So, we need to get people moving in. Let's just get houses down. No, not there. Let's get them moving in. Uh, reservoir. So... Yeah, let's clear that. Let's get a reservoir there. Let's clear things up to there. Can I do this? There we go. Let's do that. Fountain. Let's do that. Let's do that. That covers a lot. Uh, sure, let's cover there as well. I'll go ahead and have houses there, but I will most likely need... Let's do overgrown gardens. Yeah, sure. It, it blends in with the rocks really nicely. <laughs> okay. Uh, now the gods, small temple. Let's cycle these. Scatter them for desirability. Okay, uh, we will need... Yeah, here works. Fi Prefecture, engineer's post. Uh, trade, what do we have? Um, they buy stone and sand and bricks. Okay, what is our... So we've got a water trade route for an insane amount of wheat Pottery, furniture. Okay, so... So prosperity... We need 10 prosperity. To, um... Let's prioritize water services, prefectures, and engineering. We need 10 prosperity to unlock workshops. But I do have raw material. I can sell clay to up... Julia. So let's open that trade route and export our clay because then I can just get some clay going. Those can burn down so let, let's um I'm looking at the walker preview to make sure things are covered nicely along this road. Okay, we're selling some clay. <clears throat> it's the dawn of your city. We have no chance to assess your prosperity yet. Oh, those are nice tooltips. Okay, so these are all moving in. That looks nice. So, yeah, no plazas. That makes sense. So I will then need to plan some farmland. Let's go wheat. Give it a bit of room. How do I want to do this? So if I do that, and I have this road extending through... Uh, how do I want to do this? So I want to do that.
do that. And then I have the granary like this. Perfect. This is not for trade. This is accepting wheat. Uh... Hold on. So the granary is covered from the main road. So I can extend the road out here. Roadblock. I need an extension road there. So I can go... Firehouse and engineers post there to cover the farms. The... Yeah, okay. This... Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then we can go ahead and start throwing down a market right here. This is just trading wheat for now. Very good. Ha! Huh. So, how are the subsidies shown on the finances? Miscellaneous. Look at that. There's a whole miscellaneous line. 900. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. That was, that was taken into account. Ah, oh, Cloud Shadow, yes! Okay, so we've got 500 people. So we're going into the new year-ish soon. So we'll find out what our prosperity will be, but we're already evolving houses. Uh, we just need many more farms. Let's go. Yeah, okay, good. And we can just throw down theater. Oh, I forgot doctor. I should throw down a barber. Uh, a school. Does the school cover the whole block? I think it does. Very good. Then I can get... So if I do this, I can... No, I shouldn't do that. I can fill it with random trees. The auto cycle works out nicely. <laughs> okay, so that should deal with desirability. Things are slowly evolving. Yes, very good. Oh, there's still some desirability issues there, but that's fine. Tree there, okay. So food is coming in, yes. Uh, it's December now, so we'll find out our new prosperity soon. And then we'll stop once we get to 10 prosperity. Oh, it's right, it maxes four at a time. Huh. So the first three years, we can't build workshops. We have 41% unemployment. Hmm. So what is our current objective? Achieve 10 prosperity. Yeah, it can be 26. Max out the trade you have. 30 clay. Oh, we can sell vegetables. And wheat. Oh, we have stone quarry and sand pit. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to brain all of these new resources. Stone quarry and sand pit. Okay, if that's the case, um, let's try get that going. Let's clear some space over here. Let's go raw material, stone quarry. How much stone can we sell? 30. I don't know. I guess I'll go five.
This is accepting stone. Oh, this was already by default accepting 1616. I see the intention. I will keep it separate anyway. Okay. Um, then what's the other raw material? Sand. So sand... Can it just be from anywhere? Does it have to be close to water? Oh yeah, it's just got a generous uh, spacing. So let's go... Let's stock up on some sand. And we can set it to just exporting all the stone, exporting all the sand. So this is bricks, which I assume needs a workshop. Look at this, sand quarries and stone quarries. Completely new graphics. Hmm. Feel we're playing Caesar 4 in Caesar 3 graphics. I mean, it kind of does feel a little bit like that. Uh, let's get a statue over here. Goddess statue. Is that enough? How about a legionary statue? There we go. Evolve those houses. Oh, those need a bit of help as well. Um, I can perhaps go parks. Roofed garden wall, looped garden wall, verdant hedge, sunlit hedge. So yeah, the paneled garden wall is the new one. So I'm just throwing some of that down because it's new. Little gated community. <laughs> Uh -huh. this is this is so weird. I guess I can reach the thousand citizens. Very nice. Uh want to shift this road a little bit. Those two still should be covering everything. Just boost our clay production. So we're now making a lot of money selling all these raw resources. Oh yeah, does this have... Oh, this does have gates. So if I, for example... And I set it to default allowing everyone in, but I actually don't want that. But I'm going to... do this anyway because just for the new graphics <laughs> we've got a little archway thing into the industrial area okay so look at that stone resource sand resource very nice very good okay, we still have so much unemployment what's our target population there's 1750 I should get a new set of temples. Uh, I can probably just do this, right? Make sure the gods are happy. Okay, food is still perfectly fine. So, I think we can... No, I, I need to deal with this unemployment. What can I do to deal with this? Uh, what are the other possible trade routes? We could just... Oh, that's a water trade route for wheat. Uh, this is a water trade route. Uh, not really. Doesn't feel like... Oh, they buy sand, though. 1,700 to open. I can do that. I just need to have a dock somewhere. Can I build a dock? I can build a dock.
think those reach to cover the dock. Yes, okay. So this dock is going to be buying the sand. Sena Galica. Let's open this trade route. We are exporting the sand there. This dock, look at these settings if you haven't seen it. Sena Galica. I'm gonna have this one go here and then we can just really boost up how much sand we're producing. Let's clear some space. There's so much sand. We're gonna sell s an insane amount of sand. <laughs> oh. So gates are like red box, but gates. Gates, uh, residential gates are also good desirability, I think. What are, what's the cost difference? Um, so it's park. So these cost 12. A roadblock costs the same. Those who cost 12. Um, I'm not sure if there's any mechanical difference besides aesthetics. I mean, I assume the... I don't know. Do the rough gardens and the refined gardens have the same desirability effects? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, there's 200 of you watching. Thank you so much for joining. We're looking at Caesar 3 and its glorious future through 2024 and beyond. This is Mission 2 in Commissar Marek's new reconquered campaign and Augustus 4.0 with... It's just so much stuff. I can try out cart depots by getting vegetables to the dock. Yes! Okay, let's try out cart depots. So, this buys 40 vegetables. So what I can do is I can have a warehouse here. This warehouse is not for any trader or market lady, but it's accepting vegetables. And then I have a road that goes... I guess we... Just loop it round a little bit weird like that. And then I go for farms, vegetables, and just... Get a bunch of vegetable farms. Right, so that's gonna get vegetable farms. And then I want to do... Uh, well, I want to get... I want to transfer... Okay, let's get rid of this. And then we have a warehouse here, right near the dock. This is going to be for traders, accepting vegetables. And then I go ahead and get cart depot, right here. And this cart depot, I want to be getting vegetables. Source. So, oh, okay, center camera on buildings. Warehouse five. Destination would be warehouse six. Okay, always. Perfect. <laughs> what is this magic cart depot? Yeah, like this is this is the new stuff. So now this cart depot will spawn cart pushers to move things for you. So the warehouse doesn't have to be just slowly sending one cart push out. Oh, there it is, there it is. The, the cart depot has this ox cart. And you can recall it. So if I press this recall button, it sends the resources back to where it came from. So you can cancel it if you so desire. Tobias Eunice, right? So I can recall it again. How, how much can this carry? Depot near source. Yeah, so it's efficient. Wait. Did I actually bug it out? Did I lose the resource? Ah, I might have found a bug. The vegetables disappeared! <laughs> oh, the resources are lost if you recall. Oh, I see. I pressed the button and they deposited two vegetables at the same time I pressed recall. That's why I was confused. I pressed recall and I was like, oh, it popped back into the warehouse. <laughs> Not not a bug, not a bug. Oh, how many how many carts are sent? 
It's sending two now. This one has four. This one has two. Oh, so when you recall, they just dump it on the side of the road and they go home. 16 capacity. Oh, very nice. And there we go. We're now bringing the vegetables over here and now we can sell the vegetables. Okay, cart depots. Have I been very busy the last month? Yeah, I mean, I've been, first of all, I've been sick for the last four weeks, coughing as well, so that makes it hard. Um, but I've been working on the list videos on YouTube and that's been working out really well. Am I overproducing sand? I guess it doesn't matter. We still have 12% unemployment. Prosperity is at nine. Why'd it go to nine? I thought it went up four at a time. Oh well. Uh, we need to get it to ten and then our subsidy ends. Weird. Well, not weird, but unexpected mechanic. Uh, we're going for prosperity 50. Peace 20, favor 50, okay. So, just checking. We don't have carryover funds, so... Yeah, okay, so we'll just keep going there. Concrete. Well, I don't have workshops yet. Why sand is 14.4 lull? People are asking complicated questions. Oh yeah, you do produce concrete from sand, yes. If you set your salary one rank lower, you're less one. Oh right, yes, I should drop my salary. To clerk. Okay, so Engineer is the, the rank we're stuck with through the entire campaign. That's for balance reasons, so you can't just accumulate tons of money. So we're actually overproducing wheat, but our population needs to go up another few hundred. Once we unlock workshops, we're gonna... We're gonna destroy them. Let's move this here, so I can prep this. I'm gonna have a warehouse here and this is going to be for markets also nice okay i don't know what we have on this but i'm just gonna set this to getting eight getting eight um oh, we don't have potter wait no there's pottery where's pottery getting eight i don't think we're gonna be going beyond that As always, I should set pottery to 16. That always runs out faster. Six clay. Easy. Send request. Very good. We don't have any more raw materials, right? No, no, no. Uh, farms. I'm doing vegetables. Market granary warehouse. Caravanserai. We, we don't have... We can't do monuments yet, no. Tavern. Do we have fish? No, there's no fish on this map, right? This river? No fish on this map, no. Set vegetables to trade. Wait, did I not? I did not. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> we weren't selling vegetables. I brought them all over there. We weren't actually selling them. Okay. In one month, in... January, we'll get to our 10 prosperity, and that's our first goal down. We still have 11% unemployment. Then we just need to get pottery. We don't have access to bathhouses. Subsidy expires. 14 prosperity. Congratulations on achieving a moderately prosperous colony. Unlocked workshops, have 10 workshops and 2,500 denarii in the city coffers to unlock new entertainment options. 10 workshops, okay. So first I want to, we can just have it here, I guess. No, no, let's be a bit more responsible. Let's do this. Have a warehouse here. This is not for markets. This is accepting pottery. And then let's go workshop, pottery. Ok, 
Okay, that's generating a bunch of pottery. And then we need furniture. How do I want to do this? Can I produce furniture from near here? Can. Just need a road. Extending out. It's blocking my way. Road extending out that way. We'll roadblock that. I'll make some room here. The road will continue. Make some room here. Excursion. Into that area. And then I want to go raw material. Wait, we don't have timber yards? <laughs> Wait, I thought we had timber yards. We have to... Is there an import for timber? There's an import for timber. Importing max. Okay, so that means we need a warehouse... ...here. This is for traders. Accepting timber, and then workshop, furniture. Five workshops. What was... oh yeah, there we go. We need 10 workshops and 2,500 in the bank. So now bread and games. Unlocked additional entertainment venues. Fora, gubernatorial residences, and libraries. Increased trading of stone. Still trying to recognize these things. Bathhouse. Do I have baths? Baths are down. Can I get reservoir coverage there? Maybe reservoir coverage here. I can do that. If I get rid of that, I can then have the bathhouse there. Okay. We are producing pottery, yes. Look at that stone all stored up. Okay. So we've imported timber. That's going to start producing furniture. Very good. Uh, I'm gonna just... Delete these houses. Let's dispatch that request. Okay, favor is almost where it needs to be. Um, what's our current prosperity? 34? Okay. Okay, pottery has started to come in. Furniture will just flow straight into this one, so that's fine. I don't know if we can get oil on this map. Oh, right, we need to trade pottery. Let's do that. Give up clay pits for employment's sake. Ah, these houses are gonna evolve. All right, entertainment, we need amphitheater. Let's get that going. Wait. Oh, it's spawning here, but it's returning on the north side. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so now we can throw down... You know, just down here, I guess. Gladiator school. Can I fit one in here? Eh, it's fine. I'll just stick it over here. Okay, good. Lower price of clay, sure. Those need more entertainment. We can get an arena down. I don't need all these temples. I mean, that's something we can fix. 
I move this to there, move that to there, we can clear this. We can then have an arena here. And then we can throw down a lion house here. Very good. These houses now evolving. They need a supply of furniture. Furniture is coming in, which we can now sell. Perfect. The two by two decorations are better than several of the one by ones. Yeah. Um, if I need to do it, let me check. Uh, max prosperity currently is 45. Last year, the city lost money, I see. <clears throat> Getting the furniture in should get this to where our prosperity needs to be. Remember, my playstyle is not play the most efficient, effective way possible. I will play as efficiently as required to win. <laughs> so, okay, we're going up to medium insula. Is there a source of oil on this map? We can import olives from there. Don't know if we need it, though. can give you a library. Okay, cool. Oh, so that note on no plazas unless we get a Mercury Grand Temple applies to every mission moving forward. Is that correct? That's just a constant? No plazas unless Mercury Grand Temple? Yes, okay. Are there ponds? There are ponds. Uh, it's under parks, large pond. And if they're in range of a reservoir, they do activate. With a little animation. Look at those birds. You got a pond. Plaza is hilariously overpowered. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> also, so yeah, that still draws like that. Okay, good. If I check, potential prosperity is 56. Okay, that's where it needs to be. Culture's good. Population... We can check that as well. Total capacity, 1,629. Really? Oh, some of these haven't evolved. What if I give you that? Yes, good. Do I need to squeeze some houses? I can squeeze houses. It's just... 1,637. I need another 100 plus. I need two more houses. I can just squeeze a couple houses there. The house can go there. I can... move this over to there to clear that and have a house there instead. Okay. No, some devolution there, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's just have another one of those just in case. That should help. Yes. Yeah, that's medium insula. Oh, I can extend this over by one. 
Does rotating fix this? Oh, it auto fixes. Very nice. Okay, so I think if everything's correct. We don't actually need a library. Because besides population, I think we're gonna be fine for everything. Uh, let me just check here. Can I send a lavish gift? Yep. No point saving it. Let's just get our favor to where it needs to be. Um, employment is now coming back down to normal levels. Pottery, furniture looks good. Like, I could go ahead and do oil. If I wanted to get the population... Nope, don't need it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know there's the all houses to merge setting, but I, I like the one-by-ones showing up. You know, just the visual variety. I, I like it. I could do oil. This is not required, though. Am I turning a profit, though? I'm only importing timber, right? Oh, I'm not taxing. I'm not taxing. I gotta tax these people. We don't need a library. We need taxes. <laughs> Let's tax the people. I could give them a library. I just need to... Let's shift. Eight stone. Let's move Mars. And you can have your library back. Okay. So are we actually making money? Trade receipts. Imports 2,000. Wages 2,000. I'm just spending too much money. Yeah. I just need to stop building. We've hit our target population. Taxes should now help quite a bit. People are extremely pleased with me. Let's try 8%. Taxes and not spending money should get our money to go back up. Prosperity rating is rising and it will go to 53. Our culture rating dropped. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, how are the gods feeling? Indifferent. Our levies. These small temples can, can wreck your economy because of all the levies. So instead of that... Four temples on four temples, four theaters on the outskirts. This is this is off Broadway, <laughs> off West End. <laughs> that might count. Okay. Uh, so prosperity will rise. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna make a save here. Just in case something goes wrong. I'm gonna speed up. Culture is... Okay, culture is where it needs to be. Employment is where it needs to be. Prosperity and peace are rising. Money should slowly climb. If I check... An event! Proconsul Attilia sends a proposal. My advisors have told me of immense riches ripe for exploitation in your new provincial capital. Within the mountains are hidden... Precious veins of marble, a commodity that is highly desired in all major cities. Okay. This is an optional objective that is not required to complete the scenario. It, it will introduce you to monument construction in further missions. There will be similar side objectives. Side quests! Each map will have several edicts. That's what we're calling side quests. 
special conditions enacted for flavor and uniqueness. Some edicts will have beneficial effects, but more often they are restrictive to provide each scenario with unique challenges. Okay. So... What is it actually asking for? Um, just extract marble? As a side quest? Daily quarry operations. Yes. Okay, so the side quest is to just extract marble. Which I guess we can sell, right? Someone buys it. Yes, Senegalica buys it. Only 15, so we actually want it over this side. Uh, can I perhaps marble up here? Marble quarry. No, those are not officially... So what I can do is I can change this to only accepting 24, but also accepting 8 marble. And then I gotta replace like two of those. With marble quarries. Okay. Side objective complete. <laughs> If I, if I were to avoid making culture dumps, how would I go about it? Like make a small block with temple and theater and no access to save pottery? If I were to avoid making culture dumps, how would I go about it? The need for culture dumps is very hard to balance because it is entirely dependent on how efficient you build. You know, if you build mega efficient, you're going to need a little bit of a culture dump. So the actual balanced way to play is to not play so efficiently, right? So even though I'm not playing mega seriously to try and min-max everything, you know, the way I play is just naturally somewhat efficient, right? So I've actually overshot culture. I, I don't actually need this. So I think it is actually balanced. Let me get rid of these theaters and see if culture drops too low because it should be balanced for this to be fine i think it's because i destroyed the library culture so culture is actually just slightly too low so what you're like i'm just slightly too efficient here like if i threw down a tavern no but we don't have the resources for a tavern i need like one extra theater to hit our culture goal we have people dying. Oh, well, it's fine. So, I'm just a little bit... Yeah, see, one extra theater and we're more than enough culture. So, it's actually, like, pretty balanced. But if you were to do forced walkers and get even more efficient... Oh, its taxes are too high. Now, people are pleased with you. Is there a house that's not evolved? Uh, risks, crime. Ah. There we go. Uh, where's my fountain? No, no, fountain. There we go. There's some people with no running water. Or food, because they don't eat at small tent levels. <laughs> but yeah, Forced Walkers is considered uh, semi-exploit and it throws off the balance of the game, right? So Augustus, as far as I can picture, is balanced for um, building a little loosely. That's all, right? Not 100% efficient. So if, if I were to like really push the efficiency, then you'd need a little bit of a culture dump, but like maybe a theater or an extra library or something like that. And we have all of our goals right now, except for prosperity, which should be continuing to rise to 55. There we go. That should deal with the crime. 5% uh, unemployment is okay. You want 500 cash? Sure. Let's dispatch those. I, since we're not doing oil, I can allow 16 furniture to go into this warehouse. Just fill that up a little bit. Food looks good. 
industry looks good. Exploring lots of nice new things. Very cool. Oh yeah, and labor dumps are less of a need right now because of the monument mechanics. Like, I'm way over producing industry here, but like, I could go into monuments where there's the architects guild, work camps, you know, I could get those going since marble is coming in and we are importing timber, we could build those things. Do I have access to oracles? I don't have access to oracles yet. Oh, I can build the grand temples now, those unlocked. I could build a mercury grand temple, get some plazas. <laughs> Bit much on mission too, but I haven't said it to sell marble. Thank you. Export. There you go. Don't really need the money, but... Buy the marble. Dockers are collecting some goods. Oh, this this trade warehouse. route is buying too much stuff. Oh well, it's fine. They might never buy marble. Um, what was a bit at the end of the marble message about combining peaceful and dangerous missions? Uh, the military and peaceful paths have been merged into one and you should play all the maps in order for the recommended experience. Economic missions will generally be more difficult, featuring logistics and space constraints, but military missions will have economic and developmental constraints as well. Yeah. Generally, I find military missions harder because it sets a time limit. <clears throat> you know, because... Um, I know economic missions tend to be more difficult to get everything going, but for someone who's finished the campaign three times, including one with Augustus III, um, I'm sort of fine with economic stuff. It's just a matter of time before I win, you know? <laughs> but military missions, an invasion comes and you're not prepared and you just, well, you're wrecked, you know? <laughs> so you have to do something by a certain time, otherwise you die. So I find military missions, personally, I find military missions harder. Okay, but I think everything's good. We should be able to just go now, right? Just in case. And we'll go ahead and make another save. And we should be able to go at 500% speed to get the prosperity we need. Yep, we can dispatch that. Favor is going to be good to go. Population's at 1,800. Unemployment, 7%. I see. The cloud speed is not affected by game speed. Just checking that. <laughs> People move faster, the clouds do not. Furniture, no problem. I'm good to go. We're making lots of money. Prosperity's at 42. Oh yeah, there are military changes as well. I don't... We don't have any access to those here, but... Uh, yeah, it's weird. These early missions, there's no gatehouses, but we're now using roadblocks and residential gates. I don't have enough clay. Now I do. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually selling out on stone. Victory up to 52 prosperity. Commissar Marek is asking, let me know what you think about the changes compared to the vanilla campaign later. Um, you know, I can tell you now, it's just so refreshing. Like, the old campaign for someone who has played the game for two decades, over two decades, the old campaign is now stale. This is just... It takes into account all the advancements of Augustus, and it's just, yeah, it's New Game Plus. If you've never played Caesar 3, get Julius and play the vanilla campaign. But if you have completed Caesar 3, vanilla or Julius, then get Augustus and the new reconquered campaign. And it's like, it's just a whole new thing. You don't even know what's coming. That earthquake on the later mission, I don't even know what's going to happen there. Who knows? Accept promotion.
Congratulations! Once again, you have proven yourself to be one of Rome's finest governors. These victory screens can't be edited yet, but maybe in the future. Augustus 5? Maybe a year from now, maybe longer. But let's go play mission 3. Let's play another mission to get a real feel of this Augustus 4.0 and the new campaign. Capua. Oh, Capua. <clears throat> Reconquered Capua. What are the changes here? The first proper map, yeah. This is this is where the game begins. Mission 1 and 2 traditionally are like tutorial missions. Capua is like a little bit of tutorial. But it's always felt like the first real map. Look at these. Oh, Tarentum. This is... Farmland up there? Oh, okay. I'm like looking at these maps. Taraco, Miletus... Mediolanum. Oh, I see those rocks you placed there. <laughs> I see what you've done with Mediolanum. Lugdunum. How has Lugdunum changed? Oh, you put a native village there. You don't let. You won't let me exploit that. Did you? Did you fix the one tile of farmland on the low ground? <laughs> Carthago. I dread. Tarsus. Tingis. Oh, this whole area is now like a high ground. You did fix it. <laughs> But there are no pig requests. Oh, okay. Valencia. Look what you did to the farmland. That's gonna be so hard. Lutetia looks completely different. I don't even recognize that map. Caesarea. Oh, yeah, okay. Damascus. So many mountains. Londinium. Oh, Londinium used to just be like a big open thing. Sarmizega Tusa. Okay, okay, I see. Lindum. Ooh, that's... That's some tricky terrain. Massilia. Yeah, you messed up the land here as well. <laughs> okay, okay. The missions have all, all changed quite heavily. But let's go into Capua. Rome has been at war with the Samnites and various other affiliated tribes in central Italy during a period known as the Samnite Wars. Some cities have been recognized as Roman allies, even being granted citizenship in certain cases. These events demonstrate that Rome is a significant regional power capable of protecting its allies. The independent city of Capua had been occupied by the Samnites in the past, and now finds the possibility of renewed Samnite aggression most troubling. Accordingly, the Roman Senate has decided extended diplomatic overtures to Capua to make them a Roman ally. The Capuani have accepted the terms, regarding themselves as more closely aligned with the Latins than the Samnites. This is certain to increase tensions in the area, but Rome is confident in her military prowess and that the economic benefits from controlling Capua outweigh the risks. Take charge of this local area and develop it into a true regional trade hub and economic powerhouse. Due to our mighty legions, you do not need to worry about city defences. The area around Capua is quite fertile so you can expect easy cultivation of grapes, olives, and other foodstuffs. The only challenge will be in logistics. Transporting goods and provisions from the farmlands to your marketplaces in a timely fashion. A wise governor should make good use of the sturdy local oxen to arrange transport via cart depots. The area near Capua does not have deposits of suitable stone or marble, so you will need to import these if you want to build larger civic projects. All right, and there's edicts, mission-specific modifiers. Uh, City of Ludii, is that how you pronounce that? For entertainment, you will need to rely on tavern, arena, and coliseum. Secondary objectives may expand these options. Oh, I see. So side objectives might actually unlock buildings. Samnite Wars. After your city facilitates weapons manufacturing, you'll be tasked with sending frequent weapons shipments to support the war effort. So... There's no weapons requests until we, can pro until we actually produce weapons, and then after that, you're expected to produce weapons. Right. Okay. 
persistent events. Yeah, so Grand Temple to Mercury unlocks Plaza, subsidies lasting until 10, prosperity rating, give 10 to not per month workshops only unlock after this so this is just every mission workshops only unlock once we get to 10 prosperity rating okay what are we dealing with the sheep over here Kapua is the first real mission the sheep here look at these rocks real messing up the farmland there okay we've got a warehouse five olives 13 vines Okay, this is all Highland now. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. How how do I want to build this city? This one's tricky. Capua used to be a pretty straightforward mission, but now... Okay, so we know there's no military. Also, if you didn't know, uh, sheep... Get out of the way when you try to build things. If you didn't know. <laughs> cool, right? That's a new, that's a new Augustus feature. 4,000 population, 70 prosperity. Oh, I see. Um, okay, we start with 6,340. Okay. Uh, raw materials, clay pit, sand pit, trade routes. Capua, Brentium, buys olives and oil, water trade route, Regium buys clay, sand, pottery, and bricks, water trade route, uh, Tarasina, uh, fruit, olives, vines, mm-hmm, sells an insane amount of meat, Olive oil, wine, weapons. Water trade route, olives, vines. So we could sell a ton of olives and vines. Um, this land trade route is fruit, olives, vines. <clears throat> this... Oh, this... Oh, I see. You've lugdenumed Capua. <laughs> You've lugdenumed Capua. You know, the farmland is separated by a large cliff. So to get things from the farmland to anywhere important... It's like the... It's like reverse Lugdunum. The farmland's on the low land, and then where you're supposed to build is on the high land. Okay, so it is going to be a logistical problem. So first I'm gonna just clear these trees so I can... Yeah, this, this is gonna be tricky. So I need to... Yeah. From this side, we have to low bridge over to this to get even more... I'm just clearing things so I can actually see what's going on. Okay. Okay, I understand. Alright. There's farmland here as well. Oh, I see. What's that? You can squeeze one farm there. Oh, there's farmland here as well? Okay, I gotta make sure I don't forget this. So cart depots are going to be the most important thing here. Right? And then we have this area here. Which we can have our first housing area here. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just do... Some basic housing block. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we do that. Let's go... Reservoir. Let's 
and pause. Let's go. We'll need doctor and barber. We'll need the small temples. Okay, good spread for desirability. We'll need a granary. Over here. Connecting up to there where it's roadblocked. We'll have the market. Here, this market. Wait, what's our crops? Uh, farms. Okay, we do have wheat. So let's just trade wheat first, and then let's check so we can have some nearby wheat. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then we want this engineer's post. I just roadblock that. So that covers that. This road can continue through. But let's just cover that first. Uh, let's do fountains. Uh, need a reservoir on this side. Reservoir. That one house. Move this. Yes. Okay. Small temple, Mars. There. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got water going in. This is supposed to be just for market ladies. Let's accept wheat. Okay, so food will start going out. Uh, we can have school. We can have no theater, right? Um, no amphitheater either. So straight into arena, huh? Okay. Money is evaporating, yes. Uh, let's drop our salary. We do start with some. I'll just dispatch it now. Let's get our favor up. <laughs> okay. So, a little bit of food coming in. All right. Um, watered. Okay, we have this. This isn't... I don't know what to do with it. Uh, we are supposed to be selling that stuff, right? What is this set to? Accepting olives and vines. We have that land trade route, which sells olives and vines. 200 to open the trade route. Uh, wait. Which we should just sell olives, sell vines. That's 60 already, so probably not worth selling fruit. So then we need a bit more... Let me clear these trees. Can fit that. Uh, we can do this. Firehouse engineer's post. Also, let's just make sure we prioritize 
water prefectures engineering all right didn't realize our unemployment was that high no worries uh let's go ahead and is it worth having this year okay let's get a few more wheat farms as close as we can Does that work? No sign of crime around here. Yeah, okay. That should be a good amount of wheat for now. Okay, that deals with the unemployment somewhat. Uh, right, they're asking for desirability, but we don't need people yet. So now what we want to do is we want to get... I actually want to get rid of this warehouse. Have warehouses close to the in point for trade right and then I want to have warehouse right by the in point right by the in point right by the in point this one trading for uh, olives this one trading for vines. I guess if the trade can handle it, let's do fruit as well. Then we have this road going through there and road blocked there. Okay. Then we need to set up those four farms on this far side. I'm going to try keep wheat close and the other ones further away, like over here. Um, like I could probably use this area here. Okay. Um, yes. So let's go. How much can we sell of each? 30, was it? How many farms do we need to fill 30? Uh, fruits, olives, vines. We need all three. So this can do this into there. So this was fruits. Okay, I'm gonna pause to make sure I handle this properly. Uh, let's go five of each, I guess. Uh, then I'll go... So this road extends there, that road goes there, this road goes around to here. So that's five um, olives, and then let's go five vines. five vines okay then I need to make sure nothing burns or collapses I can get rid of this road I need okay that stops anything from burning or collapsing then I just need three warehouses to hold all of this stuff. Okay, let me move 
this one over. So it's more like that. And this road connects up to there. And warehouses can't burn or collapse. Okay, so then this one... Yeah, no one is going there. This one is for fruit. This one is for olives. This one is for vines. And then just for now, need a road connection up to there. Roadblock that. And then I'll need like... Oh, that, right, that wrecks employment. So what we need now is decorations. Let's do um, statues. Equestrian statue. And let's do parks. An obelisk. Parks. Uh, paths. Hmm. Garden path? I see how that looks. Um, let's do paths. Fur path. Fur path's always good. Oh, this cycles as well, I see. Oh, okay, yeah, we can cycle paths. So the trees changed. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So what do these need? Entertainment, right. So I never provided any entertainment. Let's move that there. So that I can move that and then I can go arena. So then I can go warehouse engineer's post. Make some room there and go gladiator school to get some entertainment going. Wheels of change. The terrain in this province is proving to be much rougher than expected. <laughs> yeah, you should invest in construction of ox cart depots in order to swiftly transport goods. Yeah, new second era. Construct and staff eight cart depots due to limitations in uh -huh. the actual conditions is to have three warehouses. Ox carts are still highly recommended. Reward secret. Eight cart depots. Thanks to the efficient use of trained oxen, Capuani logistic teams are now able to quickly move. Okay, well, I haven't built them yet. Uh, leading to the production of reduction in spoilage. Reward. Receive plus one vines, olives, wheat, and fruit per month directly into stockpiles if there's space for them. Oh, it said the condition was three warehouses. Oh, so just having the three warehouses gives you the pop, pop, pop. Okay. So, I'll need three cart depots for this. Uh, one, two, three. Did these burn? These do burn. Nice. Engineer's post. I can roadblock there because that doesn't need coverage. Yes. Okay. So this one <coughs> is getting fruit from here, warehouse five, delivering to warehouse four. Okay, good. Then this one is delivering olives from warehouse seven going to warehouse one. Yeah, correct. Then this one is doing vines from warehouse six to warehouse three. Good. Cart depots are now taking these crops and moving them to the trade center by the entrance. Perfect. A thousand citizens, very nice. Those take 15 people each, all right. We've got these up to small casa. We need to... Let's get a... Hmm. 
large statue of you. Large statue over here. Get those houses of vault. Oh, we're getting unemployment anyway. Uh, forum. Keep forgetting to build these. Forum. Let's make sure we're taxing. Cart depots. Moving things. Very nice. Very nice. Off they go. You want to make sure this area is generally empty. Okay, good. We're selling. We're selling. Okay, so we've got some trade going. Food is looking good as well. Are these stuck? Those are stuck on 100%. We can make that work a bit more efficiently if I put a granary here set to nothing, but accepting wheat, and then this set to getting wheat. That makes those wheat farms a bit more efficient. Okay, so I've got some agricultural trade going. The car, the oxen cart are coming back. Look how quickly it moves resources. Look how much fruit made it over here. I never set it to export fruit, did I? Let's export the fruit. Right. Yeah, that's 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 correct. <laughs> Let's just have the two olive farms there. Yeah. Okay, good. Nothing's burning. All right. I just never... That wasn't even connected to a road. Like, it, it just wasn't. <laughs> it just wasn't a thing. Okay. Wheat has stockpiled up nicely. We're now selling the fruit. Okay, we're making a decent amount of money. Oh, look at the ox carts go. So, yeah, this, this works really nicely. And look at our farmland. It actually looks really nice and natural, thanks to all the rocks. Okay, so... What do we have to do next? We just have to keep evolving the houses. So let's get the bathhouse down. Uh, then we need to get pottery. Uh, so... Oh right, we're still trying to get to 10 prosperity to unlock the workshops. Like we have to do all of this before we have access to workshops. Isn't that kind of crazy? All right, but I like how this is this is working out. A price rise in olives, perfect. Um, it's unclear what workshops we will get, so I can't plan too far ahead. So we need four thousand people. So I'll definitely need another housing block, which I think up here is a suitable place. Right, we just have to get... Is that the best place? Yeah, yeah, that's the best place. A second housing block will get out the population we require. So I'm going to clear the, this area here. So I can start planning the second housing block. Okay. Leave some natural trees. Don't want it to look too artificial. Okay. Do I see farmland on top of the cliff? No. 
No, no, th this map's been looked at them. All the farmland is down here. Pretty sure there's no farmland up here. Rome pays more wages. Ah. There is? Is it the opposite of Lugdunum where there's one tile? <laughs> we just got up to 31. Uh, there's some water. Uh, there is some near the water. Farmland. Oh, oh, here. Oh, there, there is some right there. Huh. Okay. Palace block? I don't think we're going for palaces on Kapua, even in the new map. <laughs> uh, gold junkie, you're surprised someone's streaming this. Look, this game just got a huge update. <laughs> Why is prosperity so low? It goes up like four a year. And it starts at zero. Part of the new balance, I guess. Um, in terms of how it unlocks. So we actually do have some farmland right here. But also importantly, this is where reservoir needs to go. And then... Very good. Let's clear off the space here. So I'll have a reservoir there. Can snake an aqueduct over. Okay, good. Uh, yep, alright. So, this is where I'm gonna have another. Housing block. This will connect up to there, and that will connect up to here. But we'll want to roadblock that. So this is where... Yeah, this is... This is how we're doing this... Later. We haven't even unlocked workshops yet, so... Not, not rushing for this. I'm just planning it. I'm just planning it. Um... I want to do this. Uh, I do need a granary. I guess I can have it on the low ground. Right? If I break that road, I can just have the granary here. Right? Not, not accepting. I guess I could set it to getting, just to get some food over. Because we're way over producing anyway. And I can have another cart depot, like right here. This one is wheat to get from Granary 2 and sending to Granary 9. Just to make sure the wheat is properly sent over. Look how much is being sent over here. Look how much money we're making from selling just these things. Wow. Okay, it's November. We'll get over 10 prosperity in January. Well, this is a bit of a trek, but it's fine. This brings food over to this area. This will be no problem. Uh, let's see. Let's just cover the insides. Subsidy expires. There we go. The colonial subsidy has expired. Capua no longer receives a hundred denarii per month. You may now order the construction of workshops. All right. 
The gods are also unhappy. Uh, let's get these down here, I guess. Okay, let's just initially set up this block. Warehouse, engineer's post, doctor, barber, uh, Market, but let's roadblock this up so I can go market. This is wheat. <clears throat> okay, and then I want to get another more houses there. Then we'll probably need some desirability, so let's go statues, large statue. There. Okay, so that will bring in a bunch of people. We should do... The other essentials as well. Uh, arena. Uh, school. School. Forum. Yeah, good. Okay, so that'll get us the the people we need. So now raw materials. We do have clay pit and sand pit, so we can now produce workshop, wine, oil, weapons, furniture, pottery, brick, brickworks, concrete maker. Okay. Yeah, we don't need villas for seventy prosperity. Um, we'll need... We'll need Grand Insula though, won't we? Do we need Grand Insula for 70 prosperity? Or is Large Insula enough? I can never remember how high Large Insula goes. Large Insula should be enough? Okay, all Large Insula. Okay, we can do that. Um, so what we need are the three resources. So we are producing olives. So how do I want to do this? I'll need a warehouse. Here. This. Not accepting anything. But we'll be accepting oil. Um... Let's boost up olive production. Demand for vines. Have at it. Let's increase. Get out of the way, sheep. Please and thank you. No, no, move, move. May not. What's... Oh, there's a rock there. Okay. Let's increase this. The price rise. Very good. Let's do that. So increasing the amount of olives. And then I want to have workshop, oil, just some... Five oil workshops, okay, so we'll get that oil going down, and then... Well, that was the... So then I have... How do I want to do this? Uh, I can have... I can't... The spacing issue. So I want that there. I think I'll have to move... 
to get rid of that. So I need this here. This this is going to be for markets. It is going to be uh, getting, getting, getting. 16, 8, 8. So we need all three. <clears throat> That's just for oil, okay. I will also need a warehouse somewhere close to here. I guess that works. That's connected, yes. To be safe, I'll do that. This one is also just for that, same thing. Pottery, furniture, oil, 16, 8, 8. Alright, bunch of people moving in. Very nice. Um, then I need to have a cart depot set for getting oil when the destination has less than eight i select the source warehouse 10 and i am sending it to warehouse 12. so oil will be sent to there this one can grab its own oil because it's nearby okay <coughs> um I've set up the, the last resource first, which is a bit weird, but okay. Let's now set up the pottery industry, which I can set up here. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this road so I can plan it properly. Raw material, clay pit. Let's go one, two, three, four. Yeah, should be fine. Workshop, pottery, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Road along here. Uh, clear that. Make some room here. Clear. That's actually room there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's roadblock that. This road will continue to here, but road blocked. Okay. Then we have warehouse. Here. And here. This one is for traders, I guess. Clay. This one for traders if... I don't think we'll be selling this, but for pottery. This one should be able to get its own pottery. So instead, on this side, I have a cart depot, which is grabbing pottery. Source from warehouse 13 to destination warehouse 11 when the destination has less than 16. And I'm really short on employment, so I should just... Okay, and markets really need to start distributing pottery whenever possible because we need more people okay yes yes let's have another statue there i think they need it okay i think i've processed that correctly our city expands Look how this city looks so different from when you were to play Capua in Vanilla Caesar 3. 
It's completely different. It's like slight vibes. This is Capua, but it truly is New Game Plus. <laughs> it's, it, it, it truly is. Um, in terms of uh, timber, we're going to need to import timber from someone who sells it. Regium, water trade route, sells timber and furniture. Okay. Olbia buys olives and vines. I mean, we could. <coughs> can cart depots get from... Yeah, they should be able to. Cart depots can get from places which cart depots are delivering to. This coast. I'm looking for docks and it's like here, but this area is like behind this little mountain. 2,000 people. So, I think... Luckily, I don't have to destroy this. I can actually just do that. Twelve clay, all right. Uh, which means I do need to increase the amount of clay I'm producing. Like, by a lot. Yeah, that's good. So, docks are supposed to go back here. Okay, yeah. And then I would need... I wonder when making these maps to make the challenge, do you like start to build and then it's like, oh, a warehouse could go here. And then you're like, nah, screw the player. Rock. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works or...? <laughs> So, what am I selling? Um, so the water trade routes are... Uh, they buy pottery, that's close enough. Um, they buy olives. So I wanted to open... So I wanted the timber, which is this trade route. So we don't need to bring those over, those are already close. So we want to open this trade route to sell olives and vines. Just to check... Uh, olives or vines better? Buyers pay. It's the same. Okay. So what we want is olives and vines. 16, 16. You, th you do design them sort of like that. Yes, you're pretty good at judge where players can build certain buildings. Oh, this is a perfect place for... No. <laughs> That's how that works. It would be great if I could just... Mm, nah. <laughs> So, I need uh, two cart depots here, near the sources. I'll grab them from here, because might as well. Uh, cart depots. Bam, bam. This one is grabbing olives. Um, source, warehouse 1. Destination, warehouse 15. Uh, this one is Vines, Warehouse 3, Destination, Warehouse 15. Okay, so these will now grab from here to bring over to there. We've got cart depots grabbing from here. Look how much it can carry. Okay, pottery, oh, pottery starting to go. Some entertainment, but not enough. 
Do we have... But we don't have... So we need wine. Okay, alright. I see what you're saying. Um, let's set that to 8 then. And then accepting 8 wine. Yeah. Uh, this one will also need to be accepting uh, getting 8 wine. Eat pottery, okay. Because um, what we need is taverns. Uh. Room pays more wages, okay. So we need to throw a tavern down here. We need to throw a tavern down, you know, like there. Okay, Rome pays up to 32 taxes. People are annoyed with me, let's drop taxes. Um, oil's fine, pottery's starting to come in. Uh, so for entertainment to keep these going, we need to get... Is there a source of fish? There's a source of meat. Does, does meat work in taverns? Yes, meat works in taverns. So the source of meat is Rome. They buy oil, wine, and weapons. Okay, if I take advantage of that weapons trade, but for weapons, we don't have... Okay. Wealthy Romans seek estates in Capua. Some influential Romans would like to purchase land in and around Capua for leisure and profit. The locals, however, may not look too kindly on sweeping changes to the local land ownership. Constructing a grand coliseum could appease the populace, and you would benefit from the land transaction, thus gaining additional leverage on our trade partners. Build a coliseum to increase trade quotas. I love these side quests. I don't know if I'm going to do it. But I love that that's an option. Okay, so first I want to open this trade route. Yeah, to make sure we can export all this crap. Yep, that's ready to go. Uh, I guess I can just set this. No, it has to be 1616, right? Yeah, more's on the way. It's okay. Okay, so that's another trade route set for exports. Um, 19 months on this. Are we overproducing clay yet? <laughs> Pottery is fine. So... We can produce wine. There's vines here. If I set this to accepting half oil and half wine we can then go workshop uh wine we just need to have like like five wine workshops and this road can extend through here Put roadblock there and there and make sure nothing burns or collapses there and now we can we'll probably also need to increase the amount of vineyards such a tricky setup uh, if I have some space here if this road extend, I'll need to have another... Let's clear these trees. Let's have that going there. Cover that and then replace the... Oil workshop. The clay did stockpile quite nicely. Dispatch goods. Very good. Can increase pottery production a little bit now. 
Okay, um, so we're now producing wine. Uh, which is going into here. Which then means we need to have a cart depot getting wine from warehouse 10 to distribute to warehouse 12. Yes. And I probably should just build a second one. Oh, Ceres is upset. Oh no, the gods. The gods are all unhappy. Uh, let's just... For now. Okay, we're now selling from there. That's good. Very nice. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> Wheat supply is still good. Um, so I'll want a second one of these. Just to stabilize the supply. Which I guess I can place here. This will be getting wine from warehouse 10 to warehouse 11. Okay, so now wine is going to both warehouses. And I should set this to... Just accepting wine, accepting oil, accepting furniture. Pottery you can get. This one... Should just be accepting, 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 accepting. Because these warehouses now need to distribute the wine to the taverns. So it's gonna be a whole thing. Sort that desirability, thank you. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Um My wheat is getting from granary two. It shouldn't get from granary two. It should get from granary eight. That makes more sense. Right, because this one is the one that's stocking up. This one's supplying a market. We shouldn't be grabbing the wheat out of there. Okay. <clears throat> I think the wine is going out. There's some wine there. Cut bushes returning with pottery. Okay. Eight oil. Sure. I should also just set this to furniture and oil trading. Furniture and oil trading. Dispatch that. Very good. Um, if I want to do a weapons trade, does anyone sell iron? Oh, Brentian sells iron. I see. They sell 80 iron. We can sell 50 weapons. And there's going to be weapons requests, so we probably have to process the 80 iron. But I need these houses evolved so I can get the population. Just do this. Bring in more people. Okay. Our tavern's getting... What are you doing? Oh wait, does the tavern fetches the tavern fetches the wine, not the warehouses, right? The tavern fetches the wine. Okay, that more entertainment should be going out here soon. Is that good? Really? That's not entertainment. Tavern. Tavern and arena is not enough to get past large casa? Hmm. 
Okay, I need meat. All right. So the meat trade route is a sea trade route that buys weapons. Okay, let's let's open the trade route. Uh, and just import next. So it's a sea trade route. So I should just I can have another dock. If it's a problem. Uh, then I need to have room there. So this is going to be for trade and accepting meat. Okay. So to fit meat into these warehouses is also tricky. So let's... Let's just have another warehouse here. This is going to be set to, I guess, market lady. Yeah, go get 16 meat there. Then I'm gonna need another warehouse over here. I guess I don't need another warehouse over there. I could have it on this side. This can be flower market ladies. Uh, get 16 meat there as well. Okay, we're now going to be buying an insane amount of meat. But the tavern needs granary with meat, not the warehouse. Uh, so, 24. 8. 24. 8. Getting? You should not be getting wheat though. Okay. All right. Um. That does make it a little bit complicated. How do I do this? So I don't use these. But I can have the cart depot, which I assume this can go from warehouse to Granary. Right? That works. And then I'll have another one. Which is also meat from... Warehouse to... Granary. Yes. So that, those two car depots are now grabbing meat from here into there. And there we go, evolving. Okay. We got wine and meat into the taverns. So that gets me the people I need to do furniture. Right? Yes. So furniture is a whole other thing. <laughs> oh, this city. We're just checking housing. Okay, because we do need 4,000 people total. Now this brings in a lot of people. So meat is now showing up here in the granary. So now, yep, there we go. You grab that. And now these evolve. Yes, okay. Small insula. Whew. Starting to get some unemployment, very nice. These are still filled, that's still filled. These are filled. 
wine looks good at the destinations. Okay. Okay, so timber is a sea trade route as well. Is there room for any docks over here? Does that fit? No, you put a rock there. <laughs> Does this fit a dock? No. Eight wine? No. Yeah, I could accept the timber into here. Except the timber into there. But also, I feel like I need to set up a proper export first. Because I don't know if I can support another import without setting up an export. 20 iron is sold from this. So we're importing, we're gonna import max for that. We're gonna export max for that. This is a sea trade route so we need to get weapons over to this side does that fit there okay what are you doing meat to granary too okay move you here. You are doing meat from warehouse to granary too. So I can get rid of that and have another warehouse here. This warehouse is going to be for traders accepting 16 iron and 16 weapons. Now the iron needs to be drawn out of there to um, here. Okay, let's let's do it over here. So I'm gonna do this. Do a little bit of a loop. So then we need warehouse. We need two warehouses. Here and here. This one is not accepting any of those. This is accepting iron. This is accepting weapons. And then I need a cart depot from... Okay, price, price. Cart depot from... Hmm, you got through those funds quickly. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'll just put it over here. Cart depot, which is getting iron from... Warehouse 17 and bringing it to warehouse 18. And then we'll need another cart depot, which is getting weapons from warehouse 19 going to warehouse 17. And then we go workshop weapons. Right now we're only importing 20, so 5 should be more than enough. Okay, weapons industry set up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, after a short break I'm back uh, to building the city. And yeah, I, I was just sort of 
thinking we need another housing area after we I think we we should need furniture yeah we need, we need to get furniture in so we're getting weapons out we're gonna manufacture the weapons and export the weapons let me just double check uh, yeah we are set to exporting it goes to Rome Yes, okay, so we're gonna export weapons to Rome. Have I set, uh, what are these setting? That's 16, that's 16. Okay, yeah, we're gonna set weapons to go here. Car Depot's currently bringing the iron over. Very nice. Here we go. Lots of iron deposited, and now it can start distributing the iron. So in terms of housing and employment, I feel like we should... Does it say how much food are we producing? Like, um... Does it say... Uh, it says here, doesn't it? Food stock. Supplies for four months. Does it say how much food we're producing to feed people? Percentage of population in the workforce is 47%. Uh. Like, I feel like we have plenty of food. And plenty of resources. So I can actually just... We're short on cash. I should be careful until the weapons start going out. But I can plan for another housing area here. Right? I can quite easily go here. So, yep. I will... Most likely just have a bit of a thing. Okay, it'll be there. And for the road, I will need... That makes sense here. Yeah, I'll just hook that up. Make sure that's road blocked properly. That's road blocked properly. And then I can just have this area properly protected for now. And before I forget, I will throw down A doctor and a barber. Just so that this is ready to go. And then the market can just go... Oh, I should roadblock this as well. Just to make sure nothing spawns there. And I'll have a market go right here. And this is buying... It doesn't need to buy oil, does it? Yeah, all the main resources. But... Wheat? Yeah, wheat. So not these. There we go. Okay. So this block is ready to go for more housing. I'm just waiting on... Yeah, so we're gonna bring in... Uh, I think we have to import wood, right? Yeah, we gotta import wood. We could import furniture. Sea trade route. That's the only source, I think. Yeah, so from... Regium. They buy clay, sand, pottery, and bricks. Clay, sand, pottery, and bricks. Oh. Are we exporting any of those currently? Uh, it's Trade Advisor. We're currently exporting fruit, uh, olives, vines... And weapons. Okay, so that shouldn't mess anything up. We just need to bring in... Kind of out of storage locations. How do I do this? <laughs> the docks area doesn't have a lot of area to store it. Exotic animals. You've received news of a, a trade guild, trade guilds to the south willing to sell us exotic animals from old Phoenician lands in north in the North Africa's. If you build a lighthouse to guide their ships, you could use these fierce creatures to increase the quality of our entertainment. New secondary objective: build a lighthouse to unlock lion pits. Build a lighthouse to unlock lion pits.
Uh, in the, uh, Except timber at dock warehouse eight units and use depots to bring it elsewhere. Yeah, I guess I could do that. What is this warehouse holding? Meat. Oh wait, no, I'm accepting timber into here. So I already have set that up. So timber goes there. So I just need an area to produce furniture and then to send the furniture around everywhere. So what I'll need is a storage area here. This will hold timber. Right. And then I'll need another one. Oh yes, that, that makes sense. Yes, correct. Uh, <laughs> that's my bad. Yep, yep, very much my bad. Rome pays more wages. Okay, uh, two more. Come on. Put it out. Okay, good. <laughs> Can't believe I still forget those. Okay, so this one was supposed to be for none of that. This one was going to be for furniture. And then I just need to have a cart depot, which can go anywhere along here if there's any space whatsoever. I will clear some space here. I need to have a cart depot here. And this is going to be delivering timber from uh, 16 and sending it to 20. Yes, correct. So that's going to send the timber over once we got that going. We're starting to produce some weapons, which will now be sent over to the docks. Uh, we are currently... We are currently selling weapons. Perfect. So we're now exporting weapons. Very nice. Uh, we can export how much? A lower price for pottery. Okay. We can export 50. What's the price of weapons? 180 each. We can produce... We can export 50. How much iron can we import? Uh, iron comes from 20... Uh, we're currently only importing 20 iron, so we can only export 20 weapons. We could get more iron in if we open this trade with, with, with Brentian. But I think I should focus on the furniture? Maybe I should do the iron first. But then that would require a lot more weapons workshops. This is actually not a good spot for the furniture industry. Do I have another spot? Ah, oh, this map is so crowded. Is it worth crossing over there? Because this definitely has to be a housing block. Maybe I can get away with just 20 weapons export. Yeah, we're making quite a bit of money. Yeah, okay. Let's open the trade route. Open the trade route. Yep, very good. And I want to import 16, I guess. So it doesn't overflow too much. Yeah. Is it worth... They buy clay. And we have a big surplus of clay. We can sell the clay. Right? That that makes sense. Do they buy anything else? They buy pottery as well. Maybe I should just focus on exporting pottery. It's worth a lot more, I'm sure. Um, clay is worth 35. Pottery is worth 115. Okay, so this new trade route should buy pottery. 
and sell us timber. So that should cover the cost because the export of pottery is uh, 115, import is 50, and the amounts are 4820. So yes, the pottery covers the cost of the timber. Okay. Samnite Wars. After Roman suzerainty over Capua was ratified, the Samnite Wars resumed in earnest. The Roman Republic needs supplies of weaponry for the war effort, and Capua must act. From now on, officers of the Republic will ask for frequent shipments of arms and armor. Okay, that means I have to set our weapons to export over. I'll set it to 8 for now. It can slowly build up here. Guess that works. We need furniture to evolve the houses anymore, but I do need more people. So I guess I can just bring in some people. That one we can do. Send request, dispatch. Okay, and then, yeah, I have a house there, I have a house there. Okay, we'll just bring in a few more people there. Change the land trade option in docks, whereas for iron, it's inefficient to be left in at the docks. Change the land trade option in docks. What? Flagstar, you gotta reword your, your comment. <laughs> I can't understand that. Um, I think you mean there shouldn't be any land trade here, but I don't think there's any land traders which are going there. Okay, here come more people. Very good. This brings us over 3,000 people. This will bring in the people required for, um, yeah, let's just throw this down. Don't worry, they're not tents. I'm actually already supplying and feeding this area. Um, they will need... Probably do need more. There you go! Okay, and we can just... Throw these down. Yep. One temple each. And give yourselves a library. And there's no theater, but I can have a tavern. And an arena. Very good. So, we can't get lion houses. Unless I build a lighthouse. Considering we are doing a lot of trade... I really should build a lighthouse. Dispatch those goods. Um, to build a lighthouse, I will need to build this somewhere. And there's probably... I can't remember the construction materials required for that. It fits nicely there, though. It looks good there. Oh, the docks are just completely blocked up. <sighs> How do I speed this up? There's so many ships! Um, hmm. I can fit a dock here. If I can bridge over somehow. I don't want to bridge here because then that... Oh, can a dock go there? Can I build a dock here? I can. And then I can build a ship bridge here. I can road like that. 
I can road block here. No, I should just roadblock here, rather. Cancel that. And then I just need the firehouse and engineer's post there. And then that works okay, I think. So that gives us another dock. Okay. Now, I should arrange these docks a little bit. So the pottery, the pottery and timber is regium. So that should be here. This is the regium dock. And then, uh, what are the other trade routes? The Rome is weapons and meat. Weapons and meat should be here. So this is the Rome dock. And then this is the Olbia dock. This way I have three docks, three routes, and there we go. That way, if the ships are queued up, they are the same ships from the same trade route. Yes, correct. Okay, we have some unemployment. Uh, favor's good. Timber is in, so now we're making quite a bit of money. I should go to workshops and furniture and get this going. Okay, just start producing a lot of furniture. Um, furniture will then need to be distributed. So I'm sending furniture there and to here. Yes, so I will need two. I can have one here. You are transporting furniture from warehouse 21 and sending it to warehouse 11. Furniture. Okay, and then I'll have another one. here and this one is sending furniture from warehouse 21 to warehouse 12 good so now we should be producing furniture and distributing it to where it needs to be okay money has come in so i'm gonna go ahead and give it to caesar Uh, I wanted to use it to build a lighthouse. Oh, no, right, it needs to be near water. Forgot about that. Um, can I go there? Because that's kind of appropriate. Lighthouse. Okay, what does it need? Stone. Can I produce stone? No. The monuments all have new resource requirements, so that's a thing. So if I wanted stone, who sells us stone? Um, not you. Not you. There. Terracina. Is that a land trade route? That is a land trade route, right? Um, can we see how many resources this needs in total? Is there a way to see that? Oh, that. Four phases, resource requirements. Timber, stone, bricks. So we also need 20 bricks, 56 stone. Because the Lion House will increase our entertainment a lot. Because we have arenas everywhere already. I just need Lion Houses. What was that? A lower price on wine. Okay. So we need to import stone. Which is a land trade route. So I can have that come into here. This is just going to be for traders. This is accepting stone. We also need bricks. Uh, do we import bricks? No, we must manufacture bricks. Uh, brickworks. 
Okay, I've never built a brickworks, so clay pit, sand pit. What what do brickworks need? I'm just gonna go ahead and put one down. Four weapons, okay. We can do that. I'm just gonna pop a brickworks down. What do they use? Sand and clay. Okay, so we have plenty of clay. We don't have any sand. Raw material, sand pit. I think sand pit. I can go anywhere. I can go here. What do sand pits need? Near water. Okay. So if we need sand and some brickworks. Okay. Room here. Room here. I'm just gonna clear this tree. Then I have this road come round here. Roadblock that. Firehouse. Engineer's post. I can fit this here and just block this off. This is going to be not for anyone. This will be accepting... Sand. So there is sand and clay. Raw materials, sand pit. So we'll get three sand pits, I guess. We only need 20 bricks, so I really shouldn't be rushing this all that much. This can also be holding um, you know, half sand here and half bricks. We only need 20. So let's then get a uh, workshop brickworks there. Because we got clay, sand will come in here. Clay will be deposited as well. Uh, yeah, so we'll slowly store up bricks. I will need a architect's guild and a work camp to transfer materials. And then I will start importing stone uh, to a maximum of 16. But also how expensive is stone? Buyers pay 40, okay, it's not that expensive. So we're gonna import stone. Sand produces 14.4 carts per year. Okay, we should get plenty of sand then. I should actually replace a sand pit with a brickworks because there's no way two sand pits are going to feed one brickwork. <laughs> one sand pit, two brickworks makes a lot more sense. So then we can start producing bricks. Look at these, producing bricks. So that'll slowly accumulate to 20 bricks. What we actually need to do is set this to accepting... 24, oh not sand, uh, 8 sand, 24 bricks. That makes more sense. So we're now importing stone as well. So the lighthouse will eventually be completed and then we can get some lions. <laughs> I love the new mini quests, right? The mini quests, which I think, can I just check? Are they listed here? The Samnite Wars, yeah. Um, I might have forgotten. What do these people want? They want estates. Build a coliseum to increase trade quotas. I might skip that one. Okay, furniture's going out though. Oh, furniture's come through. Has it taken that long? I didn't realize. Oh, furniture. They want a library. We already have oil. So, I just have to throw down a library. What do you want? The library. A price rise of timber? Ugh. Wine is fine. The library. Um, this area here does not have a school or a bathhouse. So let's get that going. Uh, yeah, dispatch this request. I think we should have enough houses already. I could have squeezed it into two blocks, but this probably just makes it easier. 
There we go, large insula. So to get to 70 prosperity, I think we need everything at large insula. So if we can just have a surplus of people and then we destroy the one by one houses or the unevolved houses, then that'll work out. Right. Evolve, there we go. Is this? Oh yeah, they're, they're just readjusting. We'll, we'll let them figure it out. Lighthouses use timber for work. Okay, we do import timber from here, so that should be fine. Importing timber right now is set to importing 16. I guess I just set it to importing max, right? Let's import as much as we can. Like, I don't think we'll be using it all up. Okay, bricks are starting to come in as well. Very good. Lighthouse is under construction. Now, looking at this, if we get to large insula... I mean, there is meat everywhere as well. We could technically... Uh, we could get them to grand insula if we allow them to eat meat. What's going on here? Run out of pottery. Oh, this granary is running out of wheat. We gotta bring more wheat over. Okay, you. Grab wheat, select source, granary... Oh, granary 8 is low on wheat. Well, grab from granary 2 and send it to granary 9. Yeah, I need more wheat here. I need wheat being dumped into there. Uh, some farmland over there. I can just uh, low bridge over somewhere. My... Uh, okay, fine. That's gonna have to be there. Okay, so we're gonna go... Twelve oil. Yeah. I can dispatch that. Sort of works. It's a bit weird, but sure. So I'll actually have a road go through like this, and a road around like this, and I'll roadblock that and have firehouse there, engineers post there. Road will extend to here, and I have to get rid of that, and then connect this up to here, and roadblock. I don't need to roadblock anything. This is just a whole bunch of new farms. I don't think there's any more... Could have built a housing block here, actually. This is quite nice. So this just increases the amount of food in the system. So I'm now grabbing food out of here to somewhere else as well. So this should just increase the amount of food going into there. This area has now stabilized with food. But I think I need to have another market here just dedicated to wheat. Yeah, okay. Lots of stones come in. Lighthouse is coming along. Very nice. Need some timber. Uh, they'll figure that out. Markets are a little empty because we increased our population quite a lot. And then they just started eating way too much. So we've got almost all of our goals. 
So meat is coming in. We're importing meat. I could let them eat the meat, but then I don't know if we can maintain... How much meat are we importing? We can import 3,200. It's our only second source of food, right? Oh, we could do fruits. Ah, but that's the whole thing. If I could just import enough meat, that would actually be fine. I'm thinking of meat because then it could go up to Grand Insula. Oh, that, can, that farm's not connected. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, connect the farm! <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I did. I thought that was already connected. Let me move the engineer's poster there. Just to make sure this is properly covered. Ooh, eh. People are pleased with you. Hold on. Crime. Risk. Crime. What's going on? Who's, who's criming? Who's dying? Who's being killed? No one. Everyone's fine. Just killed a random person. This looks as ugly as it possibly can. Eh, I think it's fine, honestly. Like, w honestly, look, look at the goals behind me. We've almost won. <laughs> Grand Insular are amazing. First six maps, you can ignore patricians completely if you focus on them. I mean, with the new resource distribution, it does work much better. Right now, I'm just trying to stabilize the food supply. So, what is this? It doesn't have water. Um, I think I need another market here, so I'm just going to build another market here. And you are dedicated to just wheat as well. We actually don't have enough wheat, I think. Eight furniture. Okay, I'll send that. I mean, I might not even have to send that. Um, yeah, we just don't have enough food. I need to get way more food. Let me make sure food production is prioritized. And let's get more farms going. Um, I can expand over to here. Low bridge. Right there. So I will extend the road out. Make sure this... This is a bit weird. Let's move this there, move that there. Uh, cancel that, remove these. So that now covers here. Let's make sure... Nothing gets in our way as I utilize this area. Okay, and then I just... I'll need a granary. Which I will... Yeah, it's the tents. Okay, it's the demands. Let's just get rid of the tents. Can't cause crime if you don't exist. Okay, so I'm getting granary right here. Sheep move. And then I'm gonna get a whole bunch of wheat. Uh, yeah, I'll make this work. there. This goes out to here. This goes out to here. I'll roadblock that and then I can do this and this. Ooh, if I move this to here, I can fit one more farm here. And that should be mostly fine. But I could stabilize it if I do this and this and extend this to here and then roadblock that. I can extend this road out this way and then have two more farms. And then what I want is to have like two cart depots here. 
And like this one is sending wheat from... Oh. Oh no. This needs to not be accepting any of these. This is accepting wheat. So this is now going from granary 24 and sending it to granary... 8. And this is grabbing wheat from granary 24 and sending it to granary... 2. So this should now bolster these two granaries. And then there's cart depots which are bringing these granaries out to there. But this should be more than enough food. Minus 350? Eh. That's not the number you should be looking at. <laughs> the numbers you should be looking at are 4,000 in the bank. And food production is prioritized. So we're, we're like low on employees, but... You know, what's that really slowing down? Like, production of goods and resources, sure. But wine, oil, and furniture and pottery are all good in the warehouses. Once we stabilize the food supply, we can bring in a whole bunch more people. We're supposed to bring in another 700 more people. And about half of those will enter the workforce, which will be about 350. It works out perfectly. I do like how prefects don't just kill sheep anymore. Isn't that nice? Can I get them to move when they're stuck like that? I don't know. It's fine. Okay, so now this fills up here. And the cart depots send it on over. And we should slowly see the food supply go back to where it was. We've added one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, minus 1, 16. Um, 16 more wheat farms. That's, that's more than enough, right? Look at this. This one's now filled up. See this card pusher also going over here and... Bam! Okay, good. There we go. And this one fills back up. Perfect. And then I can return my lovely houses over there I want you evolve oh there's some tents here I see uh, yeah just get out of the city let's Sort desirability. Yeah, that's good. I want you evolve. Desirability. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. So now these granaries are looking okay. Oh, that is filling up. Let's have another market. You can see the range of the market, and it does include those further granaries as well, which is kind of annoying, but uh, sure. Let's just set another one here, set to grabbing just wheat. Try and stabilize this block. And send off that wine, it's okay. Like, we're low on furniture right now, but... Still enough in stock. You live in a tent? Get out. Yeah. If you get poor in my city, you are evicted immediately. Not because you can't pay rent, just because your house is ugly. <laughs> uh. Okay, so all these houses have re-evolved mostly. If I check here, available capacity, 275. We just need people to move back in. They're just a bit slow. How's the lighthouse doing? Oh, it's got a, it's got a second floor. Timber and stone. Uh, yeah, we don't have... Oh, we have some timber down there. Yeah, yeah, imperial reminder. I don't want to send out the furniture yet until we restore our... Get out.
We just need to restore our population. Like, there's plenty of places to live now. Is that? It is covered. Rome pays more wages. 35 then. Okay. People are pleased with me. Can I tax them a bit more? Like, we're staying above 4,000 denarii, so I'm quite happy about that. Let's just water this area as well. Like, this granary is the one that's struggling the most. So I should try and fill this area first. What is going on? Some entertainment, but not enough. Why? Tavern has meat? Gladiators... Do I need another gladiator school? Let's just throw a gladiator school here. I have freaking 400 less workers. Yeah, but... Nice PC bot. You have to understand, it's all in industry and commerce. It's all in industry and commerce. It doesn't affect any other part of the city. The only thing that it's affecting is possibly some exports. And like the furniture supply, which we still have enough furniture going around. Like... See, everything else, food, engineering, water, prefects, military, entertainment, health, all fully staffed. There's also plenty of room in houses, yes. Okay, I can send that. We got plenty of wine. Because, like, right now there's available capacity 355. Like, we just, we're just waiting for them to move in. <laughs> um, I could... Like, this granary is now filled up a bit, so what I can do is I can, um... I don't know, is it safe to do that? Should be okay. Because this granary is not being taken from, right? Yeah, that's not accepting market ladies. And this one is set to... Getting wheat, getting meat. This one is set to... Getting meat... Accepting meat. I guess I could set that to getting as well. And then this one will uh, take wheat from granary 8 and send it to granary is 9? 9. Because it's okay if this one is empty. Because the markets don't take from that. So I'm just going to set another one to grab and send over there. Now, it seems industry is does affect cart depots. But as far as I can tell, the problem isn't the transportation of goods right now. It's mainly just there needs to be more wheat. See, the, the three granaries are starting to fill up now. This all looks fun, but you haven't even finished the original campaign. You're not a very good player. Also, Mihil99, thank you so much for the sub. We are trying to get to 100 subs back on Twitch because Twitch actually decided to pay people a bit more properly if you hit 100 subs. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> uh, your food cart depots take the long way around, around the arena. Can you shorten the route around the arena? Oh, like here, you mean? Yeah, but I think we've solved it. We just need these two granaries to be full. Okay, cool. What's wrong with you? Desirability. Uh, how about a pillar near your house? Does that make you feel good? Or how about some trees? Is that, is that good for you? How about that? Yeah, you like that? You like that? Some trees around your house? There we go. <laughs> Last time you were on my channel, I was a doctor, now I'm not anymore. Well, I was never a real doctor, but... Look, I'm... Like, this... People are saying this is the ugliest, most inefficient city. And yet... I'm winning. They're like, you're so short on employment, and yet money increases. 
It may look like I don't know what I'm doing, and yet I win every mission. Hmm. 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 It's just magic. <laughs> uh, look at all these large insula that have appeared. Look at the available capacity. Total capacity 370. Okay, so if I'm just checking... Uh... Right, I should probably dispatch that now. Um, prosperity, current housing level is 62, okay. Uh, to make sure things just work for a little bit, I will now prioritize industry and commerce. Just to make sure we get some furniture back out. That furniture request was running out and I didn't want to miss it. Even though we're at 99 favor, I didn't have to send it. Ugh. Okay, so I just have to make sure every single house is large insula. Which I could do. I just have to adjust a few of these placements. Like, for example, you see when it's like this? One, 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 one with a two in the middle. If you destroy the two, the ones expand into the space. What's wrong with you? Desirability. Okay, don't worry. Um, how about another pillar? There we go. Uh, there's others of those as well. Oh, something wrong here. Desirability. How about... No, no. How about some trees? Some trees? Trees good? Yeah, and again you see here, the one one. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'll let them sort themselves out a bit there. Then over here, what's wrong with you? Entertainment, what's wrong with the entertainment? Oh, it's because I did that, right. Let's now deprioritize the industry. I really, I'm building a lighthouse for lions. I've never done this before. Okay, how many bricks do I have? Oh, I have 24 bricks, which means I can now kill the brick and sand industry. Yeah? Yeah. Did plazas get removed in this mode? Yeah, they're, they're quite overpowered. So usually there's a very big expensive thing that you have to build to unlock plazas. I forgot, it's one of the temple, giant temples. Was it um, Mercury, I think it was? You have to build the Mercury Grand Temple to be able to plaza. Okay, um, I'll just hold on to that. We're at 100 favor, I'm not gonna rush that. So, okay, food supply, looks good. Markets, food, 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 food. Food supply is returned to normal, okay, good. And now if I'm looking here, I need to increase my housing capacity by 250. One of these holds 84, so I just need like three of those. Let's do one, two. Could have it here. Uh, I just need to make sure I have enough desirability. So let's just throw one of them down. I could throw one of them down. And then, nah, they should be happy. So that will increase our uh, population to the target population. Uh, then I need to clean up these things. Like here, uh, let's make sure they're ready to evolve. And then I get rid of this. Bam. Good. How much wine do you want? We're at a hundred favor and we just got two back-to-back -back wine requests. <laughs> it said, it said they were gonna start asking for weapons for the war. 
But they're not asking for weapons, they're asking for wine. <laughs> they need wine for the war efforts. Okay, so there's a few more. Yeah, this one here needs to be evolved as well. Let's just block that up. I like the auto cycle. It sort of makes it feel a bit more natural when the trees are mixed up like that. So we can fix this one as well. There we go. Uh, this one as well, I think. There should be enough desirability there. Yeah, there we go. So I think that covers all the medium insula. So we're just waiting for these here to evolve. The price rise of stone. Do I have enough stone to finish this? Yes, yes. So let's stop importing stone. Okay. Pottery supply looks a little concerning but I think that should fix itself once our employment comes through now sometimes they the houses say they they don't have enough entertainment so lion houses should sort that yeah also the the lighthouse should give us better um, what water exports because I think we do export a lot more through water, the, the vines, the olives, the weapons, the pottery. We import meat and timber. So yeah, it, it would be more worth it to do that. We've got gladiator bouts running all the time. Plenty of gladiator bouts. Okay. Granaries are all full. That's great to see. This one should be moving. Oh, there's wheat deliveries coming this way, which is not so great. But I guess if the granaries are full, there's nothing to complain about, huh? Commissar Marek says you like the city very much. Much better than Forced Walkers or 9x9s would love for me to keep up with a similar design. Well, I did a whole playthrough of Forced Walkers, so I kind of don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> like, that last playthrough was specifically Forced Walker on every mission. So, that was kind of the requirement to that. 39, jeez. People are pleased with me. Can I attack 7% then? Let's try that. This is a much more naturalistic city. If you look at real, like, ancient or medieval cities, they, they, they look a lot more like this. They're, they're just sort of roads splitting and sprawling out everywhere in random little cul-de-sacs and stuff, you know. You could do it all clean and organized, but one entire philosophy I like to promote is you should play how you want to play. All right, so everything is large insula now. If I check here, max prosperity for the current housing is level 65. Why is it 65, not 70? I thought if everything was large insula, it would be 70. They are all... Uh... There's a way to see house level, right? Wait, it should just say on this. Large insula. Everything's large insula. Hmm. I thought all large insula would be... Um, 70. I mean, I guess we could go to grand insula. But that would require more entertainment, which means we do need lion pits. Okay, so once the lighthouse is done, we'll get lion pits, so I'll need some space for them. Uh, I guess they can just go here. Price rise of vines, that actually helps us, yes. Just need some room for lion pits. 
Yeah, we just need to evolve some to Grand Insula. So the meat is coming from this side. So I probably want to use this one. I just wait for the, the lion pits to come in first. In terms of population, I think... Yeah, yeah, we're at 4,000. Yes, yes, it's fine. So I won't build the Colosseum, because... I don't really want to do that, but I will build a lighthouse. Uh, desirability might be a problem, so I should preemptively sort that. Uh, not house, not house. Let's get some of those going. Let's get going. Let's just fill the gaps with. Because they might complain. That's pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. That looks nice. And there's some back here. I like these tree pathways because it looks like um, we're not destroying the environment. We are replanting trees, even though it's a bit of a monoculture. <laughs> okay, so this, this over here, I will allow them. To take the meat soon enough. So I'll set this to 16, set this to 16 to increase the amount of meat we store into there. Because the taverns are the ones that need the meat so far. <laughs> Replanting palm trees. Yeah, cut down the natural environment, plant plant palm trees in Italy and that's totally... What city are we? Capua? It's we're here. So we're actually like just somewhat south of Rome really. But yeah, everything else should be good. We're at 10,000 denarii. Fantastic. Population's about to hit where it needs to be. So we are just waiting on this lighthouse, which needs four more bricks. We have the bricks. Where are the people? There we go. There they are. Go. Hail! Life here is great. This is hauling the bricks. There's the four units of bricks on the way to finish the lighthouse, which we need to build so that we can have lion tamers. <laughs> there is a story reason. We got mini quests and stories now. Okay, wait. Now it needs to be built. Okay, so it's been delivered. All right, so now it just needs the construction person to come on over. Which is coming from the architect's guild, which is this. Hail! Isn't this a great city? I think it's that guy. There's no space for it. There's no hail. Yes. Isn't this a great city? He's called an architect, so he is different. He's not an engineer. They're different professions. And finish the lighthouse. What do librarians say? Uh, finding a librarian. There. This city gets full marks. It's a wonderful place. Full marks. Oh, we need a couple of them? Okay, fine, fine. Take your time, take your time. No rush or anything. We need another 18 people to move in anyway. Yeah, this map design worked out really well, though. Like, you see, you, you kind of touched every part of the map. We crossed over here for a third dock. Three docks is how many you need. You went over here for the extra bit of farmland that we needed. You went over here to get that amount of farm. So it feels like, you know, we haven't fully exploited every corner of the map, but we touched every part of the map. And that feels like the map was well designed. <laughs> Because it's like, oh yeah, you, there's leeway for mistakes and inefficiencies and stuff, but, you know, you still need to use all the little parts of it. They're all there for a reason. You know, other, otherwise you have some, like, vanilla maps, like, for example, you think Mediolanum. Basically, half the map is just never even touched. You know, it's just big open area where the invasions come from, but 
You never even go up there. So it feels like wasted space. That's the design philosophy in Reconquered. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the architect should be arriving sometime soon. Is that him? No, that's not him. Where's the... Okay. I could have built the architect closer. Come on, finish. I'm gonna speed it up. Finish it up. There we go. Monument completed. The completed lighthouse, a mighty tower of stone, looms over the horizon. May its fiery beacon guide ships safely home until the end of time. So now that we've built that, does it auto-unlock? Lighthouse completed. The new lighthouse is guiding ships safely to our harbors from afar. Their captains no longer need to follow the coastline as diligently, decreasing their navigational burden. Trade ships with cargoes of exotic animals have begun to arrive in Capua. Lion Pit unlocked. Lion House. Okay, cool. Now we just need to go like... Bam. Give me lions. Ugh. We hear them immediately. So now that the lions are going to be sent out to the arenas, we should... There we go, there they go. Salutations! Isn't this a marvelous city? That will increase the amount of entertainment that these have, and that should be enough entertainment. I'll just check with... It's asking for desirability. This one. I'll just check here to make sure it says it has enough entertainment. Really? Not enough? How much entertainment do they want? Tavern. Don't have amphitheaters. Arena. Full. Full tavern, full arena. And that's not enough for Grand Insula? Alright, have your wine. They need to enter the arena first. Nope, but it's still... Still not enough entertainment for Grand Insula? Really? Or is it only from the one... That's sent out. Uh, arena. Okay, it needs to be the one that's spawned. It's not the destination walker. It needs to be the one that's spawned from the arena. Okay. Because I'm like, oh, there's not enough entertainment. Whole lion show arrives. Nah. Still not enough. <laughs> okay, now it asks for second type of food. Perfect. Okay, so I just... Wait here until this says it's got enough uh, entertainment, uh, arena. So this is, yeah, then they ask for a second type of food. So then this has plenty of meat. So this market can now trade meat and this market can now trade meat. And this will evolve this housing block to Grand Insula. Off you go. The getting market ladies now orange. Grand Insula. Needs a supply of wine. Yeah, let's not do that. I could, but then I'll have massive shortage of workers. <laughs> Grand Insula should be fine for the 70 prosperity if I check here. Yeah, it's got a tick over. Yeah, it's taking a while to get all the, the meat in. Bringing more meat over. First feeding of meat is always going to be a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. Sixty-eight, okay. Keep the meat coming. Granaries refilled. One housing block to Grand Insula should be enough.
desirability there. Can I boost that anymore? Is that enough? How about that? No? What if I put a large statue there? Does that reach you? There we go. Another Grand Insula. Everyone counts. Just waiting on more meat. Still 68, come on! The meat's flying off the shelves. Increase the price of stone? Oh, good thing I don't need it anymore. Our entire city has been bread only this entire time. <laughs> Just wheat products. Not even fruit. I could go grow fruit, you know? Fruit's an option. Like, if I really need to, I'll throw down fruit farms and feed this block here with fruit, you know? Is that enough? 70! There we go! So now we just need it to tick over to 70, which should happen soon enough. More meats coming in. Very nice, yes. We should be importing more meat now that uh, we're using it up more. Citizens must be pretty buff from all the way. <laughs> How much protein is in just ancient Roman wheat? Does anyone know? Should make a save here. This one was... An effort. <laughs> Victory! There we go. Took a little bit more than I thought it would, but oof, this is like playing Caesar 3 for new, really, from scratch. Except promotion. Congratulations! Once again, you have proven yourself to be one of Rome's finest governors. Ah, there you have it. Basically, the future of Caesar III looks amazing. And Caesar Augustus 4.0 with Commissar Marek's new reconquered campaign, it truly is Caesar III New Game Plus. If you've played the game before, then this is a whole new experience. If you've not played the game before, I recommend getting Julius and finishing the base game first because this is tough. But it's gonna be it for now. Thank you all so much for joining and I will see you in the next city.